Hello everybody, we're back with more Necromancer set feedback videos. This time, we're talking about the bone set, which shouldn't be confused with the set that actually empowers your bone armor. That's the saint set, which we'll do next, but either way, we're doing the bone set, which is kind of the pet set. The, the set where you're going to have a ton of little dudes following you around and your posse is going to do a lot of damage. In fact, it even iconically looks a lot like the old Necromancer from D2. And it's an interesting set, and I'm excited to talk about it, because this is probably the one that most people are going to flock to the moment that they get to max level and try out a Necromancer. So the two set is your minions have a chance to reduce the cooldown of Army of the Dead by one second each time they deal damage. Now, Army of the Dead is a 120 second cooldown, kind of like Land of the Dead and the Simulacrum, but it just at its base is that it rise, it raises a skeletal army to pummel the location of wherever you put it, um, which is a 15-yard radius, for 12,000% weapon damage. So it is kind of like a big cooldown, a big damage cooldown, but that it's not like that army persists. It's just kind of... Think of it more like a, just a big AoE effect. And the fact that it's called Army of the Dead doesn't really make a difference because that's not doing anything. There's a, there's a couple cool like uh, runes that make it seem like there are people attacking like one of them is called unconventional warfare which currently doesn't work in the beta and the number i'm sure is placeholder but it is that skeletons come from the ground and attack random targets for fifty thousand percent weapon damage uh, over four seconds which sounds really really cool but it's not working in the beta at the moment so essentially your two set bonuses to make sure that you're constantly able to cast Army of the Dead, or at least on a fairly short cooldown, considering it's a minute or two minute cooldown. So um, it is kind of a big deal to have that as quick as possible. The four set bonus is you gain 1% damage reduction for five seconds each time one of your minions deals damage max 50 stack. So it's 50% damage reduction. It can stack up pretty quick uh, with all of your dudes out. I'll, I'll kind of go into that in a minute, but uh, for the most part, it kind of sucks at the beginning of a Greater Rift because your skeletons summon one at a time and kind of slowly. So unless you're using Revive, which kind of gives you a, a 10 dudes pretty much right off the bat, then it's going to stack up fairly slowly and it, it kind of takes some time ramping up. And it's even worse if you die, because if you're in the middle of a Rift or a Rift Guardian and you die, then you still have that ramp up time. It is very similar to that Archon Wizard that we saw in Season 10. Six set bonus, each active Skeletal Mage increases the damage of your minions and Army of the Dead by 200%, and that's kind of the the bread and butter of this set. So Skeletal Mage costs 40 Essence, and on its base rune, it raises a skeleton from the ground to attack foes, dealing 400% weapon damage over um, two attacks, and it lasts eight seconds. Not ideal, right? It's it's kind of it's kind of annoying. We'll talk about that in a minute because it only has a short, a really short duration, and it's only uh, you know the, the four hundred percent weapon damage over two attacks that it does. So, eh, right? And then the the different runes here to choose from currently in the beta are that uh, the mages will put a corpse down when they fall, which is actually fairly useful, especially if you're using a lot of corpse abilities. Contamination uh, makes it so that they channel an aura of damage for their duration over the, the eight seconds, which isn't so bad. Um, which, interestingly enough, I'm pretty sure it was six seconds before and they changed it. Uh, Skeletal Mage, that is. Skeletal Archer is that it puts an archer on the ground that deals 400% weapon damage, which, you know, is the same as the mage, except that... As it attacks, it increases your attack speed by 3% for 5 seconds each time they do damage, and you can get that to 10 stacks. So essentially, you get 15% additional attack speed, which is really nice because that scales with summoning more uh, Skeletal Mages. Singularity, it, it consumes all of your essence that you have to summon one powerful mage, and that minion's damage is increased by 3% for every point of essence you consume. And by default, you have 200 essence. So that's kind of good. It's actually a really like big damage thrower. And then finally, life support is it costs health, but it lasts an additional two seconds. So it's going 10 seconds, which is interesting. Now, the way that I 
I think this set is supposed to work is that you're supposed to have this huge army, you know, using revive, using your golem, using your skeletons, and then summoning all these mages. So you have all these dudes running around. You got your posse and they're doing all this damage. And because you have these dudes and the skeletal mages, which are empowering all of your guys and the damage of army of the dead, you just like are, you have a literal army of dead and it's supposed to be that fantasy of the pet uh, necromancer and if that's what the fantasy of the set is supposed to be then it's trying to kind of harken back to the days of the necromancer the pet necromancer from t2 um even though you can have way more minions than you did uh, back then if you count everything up like if you get all of your stuff out in this version of the necromancer you can have a lot of dudes you know your, your skeletal uh guys your your command skeletons is seven skeletons you have the one golem you can have 10 revived enemies plus i was getting with a two-handed weapon i was getting eight skeletal mages on average like if i had them all out and i was maxed out on it if I was using a one-handed weapon, much a faster attack speed, or I was using the skeletal uh, archers instead of the mages, it would I would probably be able to get to 10 or 12. So you have the 7, you have the 1, you have the 10, then you have the 12 mages. It's really good. Uh, the problem with that, and I think that the set does nail that uh, that fantasy of having a huge army, and this is the pet set. The problem is that Skeletal Mage seems to be the issue here. It is it is very clunky to use, as in it feels weird to constantly be summoning mages that are just dying right away. And to me personally, it never really feels like I'm feeling their impact. I don't really notice their damage because I have so many other dudes running around doing their damage that I never really notice the mage damage. Uh, anytime it's out, I notice that the mages are empowering everything else, which is great. And the fact that we have the two set, which reduces the cooldown of Army of the Dead by one second each time our minions deal damage, means that I'm noticing that Army of the Dead is coming up. So, you know, I notice Army of the Dead is coming up. I'm noticing that things are doing more damage when I have the mages out. I just don't really know where the damage is coming from exactly. Like, I think the mages are doing damage, but it just might be my other minions. It's hard to tell. And I think that's the problem with Skeletal Mage. You can get so many of these dudes out and you're just constantly summoning them. And it provides a really good way to dump your essence. Which, by the way, you then need an essence generator. We'll talk about the build in a second that I'm using. But the problem that you're running into is that it just feels not good to constantly be summoning the demon or the the mages. It feels really good to hit army of the uh, army of the dead when you're when you're pushing that button. That is the fun button to push with this set, and I think that's the intention is because army of the dead is a really cool ability that does a lot of damage. And it's intended that that is the thing that this set is kind of revolved around, not necessarily the skeletal mages. But the fact that you're constantly having to summon these things over and over and over again, it's really annoying. Now, there are a couple ways to fix this. And I want to harken back to the plague set where we noticed the issue with the plague set was the bone spear. It just didn't feel like bone spear was doing it anything um and the, the the focus of that set then turned on the corpse lances and you destroying a ton of corpses which is really cool but then bone spear just kind of faded into the background and it doesn't really feel like it does a lot in this case skeletal mage it feels like it's doing something you just don't really have a, an idea of what it is so there is a difference because with bone spear it, you can easily just make the argument that it doesn't feel like it's doing anything okay let's increase its damage and or it's it's not doing anything well the bone spear damage uh, weapons aren't in the game yet that's why it doesn't feel like it's doing anything um but it could also be the fact that bone spear just isn't doing anything and the ability itself needs to be changed so there's like a weird gray area there do you change the ability or do you change the percent damage on the set and on the, the new weapons coming out it's hard to tell but with this we know what the issue is it's that you're constantly having to summon skeletal mages that's it's a pretty um a cut and dry issue that i'm noticing it's not it's not that i don't feel like the skeletal mages are doing anything 
I, it's not that I don't feel like they're doing any damage. They are doing damage, and they are doing something. They're buffing all my other dudes. The problem is I'm constantly having to summon them, and I understand the design here. The, the design is that you want to be spending essence. They don't want you at full essence all the time here. The problem is that it just doesn't feel fun to constantly be summoning them because the, the fantasy is to have your dudes doing everything or uh, in a very similar way to the way they changed marauders like maybe the dudes buff your damage instead like for every maybe the six set isn't for every skeletal mage that you have out your minions and army of the dead do 200 percent damage but for every minion you have out and you would have to change the number on that obviously your uh your minions your army of the dead and or maybe it's just your minions and the necromancer do a percent amount of damage because then you're still you know you're still getting the buff from the skeletal mages and everything, but it's not necessarily feeling like that is the key there. Uh, so you don't necessarily have to use them. Alternatively, and this is kind of my idea, my feedback, is what if there is an item that lets you, when you hit skeletal mage, it summons as many as you can. Um, so if you can... Uh, if you could summon five, it'll just dump all of your essence into summoning that five. The, I think the problem then would be that the rune that summons one skeletal mage, uh, it, it you would run into one of two issues. Either one, it's not useful at all because it just doesn't do anything. Alternatively, uh, you would have it so that way it would summon that one and it would do empowered damage because you're using the item. I don't know how that would work. Um, I just feel like if there's something that makes it so you can summon all of your mages at once to buff that damage, because this set doesn't work well with that rune. That rune is you summon one really big skeletal mage and it does a lot of damage, which is really cool. I like that. The problem is that this the set is each active skeletal mage increases the damage. So maybe if that big one counted for like 10, then that would be really cool. But that, then again, and I don't know exactly how to implement this. I, I haven't, um, like, I haven't had that genius moment of like, oh, that's that is the item. This is the effect that it should be. But it should be something along the lines of it's summoning a ton of skeletal mages all at once instead of you constantly having to hit the button and then they're like staggered out, because that that would feel like it does impact. Because then you're like, boom, skeletal mages, right, all at once then everything's doing the damage while well, you wait for your like convention of elements if you're using it to hit physical right you summon all your mages and then you hit army of the dead and it's this big burst damage moment that would feel really cool except we don't really have that because you kind of now have to set up for it and i have no problem setting up for like a cool combo where you throw all your mages out there like right before you get to the physical on your convention of elements and then then you kind of use your army of the dead to do all the damage and then you're like okay now i'm on cooldown until the next physical phase like there are builds that work that way currently in the game i liked playing those builds i think they're really fun you know you, you look at the jade witch doctor for example that one has a similar thing if you're using convention of elements with there you you want to kind of do that burst damage when it hits the poison or whatever you know runes you're using for your uh, your damage you want to wait for the convention of elements to hit it then you do all your burst damage um you know you soul harvest and whatever but it's it's just it's because you're constantly having to summon the mages it doesn't feel fun and i know that that is like the worst feedback you can give it doesn't feel fun because it's not really it's not really giving you an idea of what i mean or what i'm feeling it's what i'm feeling is that it feels clunky and that constantly having to summon the mages it's just it doesn't yeah it doesn't really feel like that's what the focus of the set is supposed to be like obviously and i said earlier summoning army of the dead is awesome and that's where that's where the cool moment of this set is but like ha that in between is not fun to play because you're just having to like keep your minions out there your mages um so i think the issue is not the set i think the set is pretty much fine um, unless you change the six set bonus but i think the issue resides in the skeletal mage and i've seen this feedback uh, a lot on the necromancer forums and on the, the diablo subreddit and stuff is that skeletal mage just feels weird so i think that that's going to need some kind of retooling which in turn may need a retooling on the set but i do feel like the set is headed in the right direction it's just not 
quite there yet. Um, we're, we'll get there eventually, though. I think with this one, it, it's going to take a couple passes to kind of figure out either how to get Skeletal Mage to work better for the set or to just make Skeletal Mage work better. But my build is uh, fairly similar to my other two. I've kind of like, I, I like the play style of using corpses to generate health globes to then suck in those health globes to generate essence. Mostly because right now we don't have a necromancer pair of bracers or rings or anything like that. So, uh, or even a weapon, right? Or phylactery. So using the reaper's wraps has been really useful for this current phase of the beta, which means that I feel like I've been drawn to using uh, the passive that when you consume a corpse, it has a chance, it has a 20% chance of popping out a health globe, which then gives me more essence. So that means that I'm able to keep my skeletal mages up way more often because I can uh, just use the corpses to generate resource and heal me. So I'm using the siphon blood generator, which is uh, with the bloodsucker uh, rune, which is sucking in all of the health globes uh, within 40 yards of me. So essentially I will use my, my golem, my command golem, which is the flesh golem, which is when I use it, he puts down eight corpses on the ground. So that's kind of my opener. It's like golem into the corpses. And then I summon mages to blow all of my essence. Then I use revive, which summons 10 corpses into creatures that then fight for me for like 20 seconds. And I'm using the obliteration rune, which is their damage is increased by 20%. Uh, but each of them costs 3% health. So I'm kind of spending health there, but that works out well. Because like Golem, right, which puts the, the corpses down, I Mage to get all of the Mages up, then I Revive, then I hit Siphon Blood and suck in all of the uh, Health Globes that were there. So that heals me back up from the Revive, and that gives me back all of my Essence to keep summoning more Mages. So that's kind of how I'm playing it. I have Command Skeletons. I'm not really using them for anything in particular. I'm using their uh, their active rune, which is when I when I activate them and I tell them to attack something, it just increases their attack speed. I feel like that is really good because it helps get Army of the Dead off of cooldown faster. So I'll use them on like rare elites or on really big enemies to kind of get them down as fast as possible. And then I what I will do is I will get five at the minimum I try to hit with uh, mages up and then I wait I try to wait for the uh, physical rune on convention of elements and then I'll hit army of the dead so that way I'm kind of getting like a huge amount of burst damage out of that so essentially again and I'll, I'll just go over this one more time just so we're, we're clear this is how my play style is I command golem in puts the uh, puts the corpses down I summon skeletons I revive I use Siphon Blood to summon all of the health globes back into me, which maxes out my essence, and it will, because of the Reaper's Wraps, and it will heal me back up to continue summoning Skeletal Mages, which will then mean that at this rate, I pretty much have everybody out. I come across a Rare Elite with this, this setup going on. I wait for Physical and Convention of Elements, and then Army of the Dead using the Death Valley rune, which is really cool. It just has everything kind of go into a center circle, um, which grabs it. It actually kind of works like uh, the Piranha NATO for the Witch Doctor, where it just kind of like throws it all into the center and just does a huge amount of splash damage, except it you know, doesn't reside there and continue to suck things in. Um, so that's that's kind of my rotation. The passives I'm using is obviously consuming a corpse. It's 20% chance to spawn a health globe. I'm using the Extended Servitude passive, which increases the duration of Skeletal Mage and Revive Minions. Actually, you know what? I just thought maybe that is what is causing the mages to be 8 seconds. No, doesn't seem to be. Uh, I, I, I just checked to make sure that that was the thing. But I, I essentially, I'm making it so that they last longer and that my Revive Minions last additional 25% longer. I'm using Commander of the Dead which is it increases the essence cost of command skeleton and the cooldown of command golem by 30 percent so um it's actually a really nice little passive for this build because it means that you can kind of spam everything a bit more and then finally i'm using blood as power which every five percent health loss reduces the remaining cooldowns by one percent which is really nice working with my skeletal mage because i'm constantly just killing my health by summoning them and empowering them for two extra seconds because they cost health to summon 
with the rune that I'm using. But that is the build and it seems to be working fairly well. If I had all of the items, I feel like this set could do pretty high greater rifts. Um, it seems to work pretty well. The way I have my character set up right now is they're kind of squishy. Um, but if I had, you know, a lot of defensive stuff, I feel like this set would be really powerful for solo pushing. I don't necessarily think this will be a great set for uh, groups. But at the same time, that is just because sometimes the pets get a little wonky. And uh, if you if you had everything grouped up like in a four player group, they might it might actually do very well because the, the pets will be focused on whatever the heck is there. You can do your um, army of the dead on like a huge group of enemies and do just a ton of burst damage. And it would be really, really great. Uh, the issue is if you're running from point to point, your you know, your dudes aren't really doing much. And in fact, they're kind of getting in the way of grabbing enemies and uh, leaving them in weird spots so uh, your support whoever's kind of like bringing dudes together for you will um will have a hard time of it sometimes with the way that the pet ai works but for the most part as a necromancer you can do a pretty good job of controlling them and putting them in the places you want so it's kind of a toss-up of whether or not it'll be good in the four player groups but i think it will be a really good solo build not necessarily a good speed farm build that's for sure to conclude my thoughts, though, I think that the set is in the right direction. It does live up to the fantasy, but the problem I feel resides in Skeletal Mage. It needs a couple of balance of life uh, changes or quality of life changes, rather, just to make it so it kind of plays a bit better. Uh, once that is the case, I think the set will be fine. And I think a lot of people who enjoy pet builds will be looking forward to using this set uh, once that that skeletal mage is working a bit better but with that being said we shall see you guys next time